Hello friends, this is tutorial series on building of one-to-one -one chat application in PHP using Ratchet WebSocket library and under this part, we will set the unique connection ID of login user. This is very important part under this one-to-one -one chat application, so please view whole video from start to end, otherwise you will not understand what going on. So, when user has been login into this chat application, then unique connection ID has been assigned by WebSocket library, so we will store that connection ID in database, and based on that connection ID, we will send one to one private chat message to any user. In previous part, we have learned how to load register user data in private chat area page with login user profile data. Now we have proceed set connection ID of login user under this chat application. Now let's start discussing this topic. So here we can see chat user table and under this table we have add user token and user condition ID table column for make one to one chat application using ratchet library. This both table column value we will use later for build one to one chat application. First we want to make get and set function under chat user class for this newly added table column. So here in text editor we have go to database folder and open chat user dot php file. Under this file after dollar user login status variable we have add private dollar user token and private dollar user connection id variable. Next, we want to make set function for user token variable. So here we have write create set user token function with dollar user token variable. Under this function, we have write dollar this with user token variable is equal to dollar user token variable. And same way, we want to make get function for user token variable value. So here we create get user token function. Under this function, we have write return statement with dollar this with user token variable. So it will return value of user token variable. Same way, we want to make set function for user connection ID variable. So here we have write create set user connection ID function with dollar user connection ID variable. Under this function, we have write dollar this with user connection ID variable is equal to dollar user connection ID variable. And same way. We want to make get function for user connection ID variable value. So here we create get user connection ID function. Under this function, we have write return statement with dollar this with user connection ID variable. So it will return value of user connection variable. After this, we have go to index.php file under this file. It has been validate login details. So, we have go this block of code, and here user login credential has been validated. So, when user has been login, then one unique token must be generate for unique connection, for identify user details. So here when user login details has been validated, then we want to generate unique token string. For this here, we have write dollar user token variable is equal to md5 function and under this we have write unique id function so this code will generate unique token string now we want to assign this token string into chat user table so first we want to set dollar user token variable value so here we have write dollar user object with set user token method and under this we have write dollar user token variable. 
So this method will set the value of dollar user token variable. After this, we have go to chat user table, and under this, we have go to update user login data method, because in this method, we want to add user token table column, for update login user token string. So here in update query, we have add user token table column name is equal to, double colon user token, so this query will update login user token value, under chat user table. After this, we want to bind value, so here we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, bind param function, with two argument, in first argument, we have write double colon user token, and in another item, we have write dollar this, with user token variable, so this code will update, user token string, under this chat user table, when user has login into system. Now again, we have go to index.php file, and here we have go to if block of code, and here we have store some data in session variable, so now, we want to store user token string under this session variable. So for this, here we have add new key token, and under value, we have write dollar user token variable, so here we have store user token string under this session variable, so when user has been login into system, then token string will be generate, and it will store in database, and in session variable also. Now, we have go to private chat.php file, and here, we have create $1 token variable, with blank value. Under this variable, we will store login user token string, from session variable. For this, under this for each loop, we have write dollar token variable is equal to dollar value token variable. So here we have store token string from session variable to this local dollar token variable. Next, we have go JavaScript code, and here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new WebSocket class method, and under this. We have write WebSocket with local host double kern 8080 port number. After this, here we have write token variable is equal to PHP echo statement, and then after, we have write dollar token variable. So when new WebSocket connection has been established, then we have pass token value with WebSocket link. Below this, we have write connect dot on open callback function. This block of code will execute when new WebSocket connection has been established. And under this function, we have write console.log. And under this, we have write connection established. So this message will be display. After this, we have write connect dot on message callback function. This function will be execute when new message has been received. And below it, we have write connection dot on close callback function. This function will be close when connection has been close. Under this function, we have write console.log, and in message, we have write connection close, then so it will display this message, when connection has been close. Now, we have go to source folder, and here we have open chat.php file. Under this file, we have go to on open method, this is because, when new connection has been established, then this function has been called, so under this function, we want to get connection ID, and store that connection ID in newly established connected user in MySQL database. So here, we have write query string variable is equal to, dollar $connect variable, with HTTP request with get array method, this method will get the fill request array, from the established connection object. 
Then, after, we have write get query method. This method will convert URI into string. So this code will return newly established connection URI in string format, which we have store under this dollar $query string variable. Now, we want to convert string into array. So here we have write parse string function, with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar $query string variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar $query array variable. So this function will convert string URI into array, and store under this dollar $query array variable. Next under this method, we want to use a chat user class method. So here we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new forward slash chat user class. Below this, we have write dollar user object with set user token method, and under this method, we have write dollar query array token variable. So here, we have set user token variable value. Next, we want to set connected user connection ID value. So here we have write dollar user object with set user connection ID method. And under this, we have write dollar connect with resource ID. So from this variable, we can get the value of connection ID, which we have set under this chat user class. Below this, we have write dollar user object with update user connection id method this method will update value of connection id under chat user table now we have go to chat user class and here we have make update user connection id method this method will update connection id value in chat user table under this method we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat user table set user connection id is equal to double colon user connection id where user token is equal to double colon user token below this update query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This method will prepare query for execution. After this, we want to bind a parameter to the specified variable name. So for this, here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument. In first argument, we have write double colon user connection ID, and in second argument, we have write dollar this with user connection id variable and same way for user token variable here we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method with two argument in first argument we have write double colon user token and in second argument we have write dollar this with user token variable now we want to execute query so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above update query. It will update connection ID value in chat user table. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. So for this, first we have go to command prompt. And here we to go to chat application directory. After this, we have write php space bin slash server dot php command. This command will start WebSocket server. Friends, here on web page, we can see login page. So here we have enter login details. After fill login details, now we have click on login button. After click on login button, Page has been redirect to chatroom.php file. Now we want to go private chat page. So here we have click on this private chat link. And after click on this page has been redirect to private chat.php file. Next, on web page, 
we have right click and select inspect element. And after this, we have go to network tab and after go into network tab, we have refresh web page. After refresh of page, here we can see web page loading process data and from this data, we can see one token variable with alpha numeric string data. So this string has been generated when new connection has been established. So while we have go to console tab, then here we can see connection established message. Now we have go to command prompt. So here we can see number of connection with connection ID. So here it display this number connection ID under this command prompt. Now we have go to chat user table and here in John Smith table row, we can see that this number connection ID has been stored under this login user. Based on this connection ID, we will fetch user details from database for chat application operation. So friends, under this tutorial, we have learned how to set token value and connection ID value of login user under this chat user table. In next part, we will start from design chat area. Thank you for watching this video. We will be meet in next part of this real time one to one chat application using Ratchet PHP WebSocket library with MySQL database.